Okay, now that you have created the basic three-dimensional shape, we are now going to do an extension task. I'm going to show you how you can sketch on each surface and I'm going to show you how to round and edit and adjust the shape. So the first thing I'd like you to do is practice um, selecting surfaces. If you hover over and left mouse click once, hover over left click and it will go dark green. Okay. Um, if you use the wheel of the mouse to rotate around. So now I'm going to select the top surface. Again, if I hover over, you'll see it goes light green, then left click and it will go dark green. If I hover down on here, it will go light green, left click, dark green. Okay, and this allows you to select any surface that you wish to sketch on. Okay. So there, dark green. Okay, so our first exercise will be to select the front face. So here, I'm gonna hover over, it goes light green. So you have to wait until it actually goes that light green color. So there it is, it goes light green, and then click once. I've chosen, or I've got that selected. Now we're gonna go up to sketch, because I'm telling the Creo that I want to sketch on that surface. Okay, then I'm going to ask you to use the center and point tool, um, and we're going to select um, at the bottom here on this center line that you can see, click, left click and drag out and left click to complete. Then use the normal dimension tool. And here, if we roll in, we can now set the diameter. So if you double click in there, we're gonna set that diameter to 15 millimeters. So you have to type in and press enter. And then here you can see there is another dimension that allows us to adjust the height of where this circle is on the face. So if you double click in there, and we're gonna set that at 15 millimeters, you will see it just slightly moves there. Okay, so that's one circle. Now I'm gonna go back, select the center and point tool again, and then I'm gonna draw on the line again, click and drag. Now you will see here, um, if you zoom in, you'll see an R appears. That means it's the same radius as below. So just to help you, um, I'm gonna deliberately go bigger and left click to stop. Use the normal dimension tool to get, so that you can get used to this. And then we are going to double click and we are setting that also at 15 millimeters. Now, this also has a height. Okay, so, um, we can adjust that height too. And that is going to be from the bottom 50 millimeters. That will be the center of the, the main height. 50 millimeters. That goes from the bottom to there. And then we are going to draw ourselves a, another circle. Okay, so I'm deliberately drawing it bigger than it needs to be. Dimension tool, 15 millimeters diameter. And this time, uh, if we use the dimension tool here, we will see that there is another dimension. There it is, it's there. And that is going to B, um, that's going to be 85 millimeters, 85 millimeters. And if we zoom out, okay, we should have those separated, uh, equally separated. Now I'm going to draw one more circle and I'm going to draw in here. So I'm going to just 
choose the center and point and I'm randomly going to draw it deliberately not in line with anything so I'm going to show you how we can make that uh, go into the position that we want using the normal dimension tool so as you can see we have a diameter so let's set that also at 15 so all of the diameters have been 15 now this measurement shows us the distance between the center of this circle and the center of this circle um, and I'm going to set that at 35 millimeters and then it gives me a height from the base to the center of the circle and I'm going to make that the same as this one over here which was 15 millimeters and then that lowers it down so we can control the position um, of these at any time so I could go in here and I could make that 40 and I can move it along okay I'm going to return it 35 okay now if I'm happy with my positioning then I need to click OK and I've completed the sketch okay there is the sketch complete my next step is to extrude and they come out as a positive okay as you drag those out this number will change but actually we want to go through the model so we're going to go through and the depth of this model was 30 millimeters so I just need to make that 30 okay and that is the same depth and I will tick OK right so they are our holes drawn through through the object um, now what we are going to do is we are going to choose the top face okay so again hover over click once and it should go dark green so if I choose this dark green choose the top face okay and I'm gonna say I want to sketch on that top face and again use the center and point tool this time find the center there it will snap to the center if we've set that um, from the original drawing um, and again I'm going to use the normal tool to set the diameter and again I'm going to set that at 15 millimeters okay the sketch is complete so I can tick OK and this time I'm going to press extrude and again it comes out positive but I want to send this all the way through and down to the bottom and you will see it is creating a hole all the way through now the height of this object is 100 so I can type that in here or here uh, 100 millimeters and you will see that it goes all the way through so I tick OK I now have a hole going all the way through okay and now I'm just going to do uh, one more at the end here on this surface so I'm going to click the face I'm going to choose sketch and I'm going to choose center and point and this time I've got a center line but I don't have a horizontal so I'm going to click on the center and oops uh, sorry I need to reset that center and point click out click and drag click to complete use the normal tool set the diameter at 15 millimeters but here I need to set the height so I'm going to put in there it's at 18.06 so I'm going to change that to 15 and then tick OK 
Now, I'm going to extrude that and you'll see it comes out. I want to send it all the way back so it should now become a removal of material going all the way through. If it doesn't remove, you must click this button here, remove material. Um, if, you, if it's not showing that it's removing. And I'm going to make that, I think that distance is 80. So I'm going to make that 80. And we should see if I revolve it around, it's come through here. Okay, so I'm going to tick OK. I'm happy with that. Double click and we have created holes using sketches.